but you're about to inherit something big okay that's what i'm getting here what's up maji gang welcome back to my channel here at maji got the tea don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you're new here to my channel hi i'm maji and honey i got the tea the tea is the truth and i'm here to expose anybody that's doing anything evil to you or any information that your spirit guides angels ancestors need you to know at this time okay god hire me who gonna fire me though so thank you guys for joining me here today those of you that are watching live thank you for joining me here and now if you like to make a donation um, to my channel, everything is in the description box, okay? You can use YouTube stickers, cash up, anything like that, all right? But this is the message that I'm getting. So God is going to show you who you who needs to walk away from your life, who do you get to keep beside you, who gets to level up with you, and who gets to stay at the bottom as you rise to the top. Comment below, I'm about to rise to the top. A whole glow up, honey. You about to rise to the top. Facts. On the bottom of this deck, we have the air, right? So like I said, you're about to inherit something and I'm hearing like inherit the earth, right? Like it's as big, like inheriting the earth. It could be a new world, but you see that crown? You're, you're spiritually coronated. Comment below. I'm spiritually coronated. Let's start with some sage over here, Palo Santo. Let's cleanse up this, this space. Make sure we're in alignment and there's no negative energy because any negative energy trying to enter here will not be able to, okay? You cannot penetrate this type of psychic walls up in here. Yeah, see? Yeah, look at that. You guys are hearing that? There's a lot of negative energy around you. Somebody here needs a spiritual cleanse. There's a lot of negative energy around you. Your crown chakra could start itching right now or tingling. Look, you hear that? Guys, this is literally, look, you hear that? Palo Santo is not supposed to do that sound. That little fire, like, tee -tee. I don't know if you guys hear it. That means there's a lot of negative energy, mad evil eye right now being sent. But we go out here, fuck that. We still going live. Someone's birthday here could be January 18. But did you guys hear that? That was some crazy energy, right? So we sending all that back to sender. Send that right back to sender, honey. You is not going to fuck around here. Okay, so let's begin. Now that this is cleansed, I'm going to leave it right here so we can just continue cleansing the screen. So again, you're about to inherit something very big, very major, guys. Please, as always, take the parts that resonate, leave what doesn't. Very specific message for somebody. Definitely very specific message to a chosen one here tonight. Let me know where you guys are watching me from. So before God gives you this big inheritance, this big... Um, major position of leadership right before you inherit something big something mystical something magical first god needs to show you so i'm hearing there's a lot that you're not seeing behind the scenes and god is about to show you right comment below god is about to show me what i need to see okay right i am ready to see what I couldn't see because that's basically what's happening. A veil is being removed and suddenly you're going to be able to see your haters without, I'm hearing without any doubt, you're going to be able to just know, like, hold on. I feel success coming. Somebody comment below. I feel success coming. So you feel something, especially if you're intuitive. This is a message to somebody that feels like they're anointed, that feels like there's something great, like they were born for greatness, like you're about to inherit something big. And like I said, you may not know it, but it's like a feeling, right? You may not have clarity because like I'm hearing it's unseen. This blessing is not yet presented to you. You have no idea what God has planned for you, my darling. You watching me, whoever you are watching this reading right now, you have no idea what God has planned for you. So if this message is already resonating, don't forget guys to like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. This really helps the channel grow and expand and deliver this message to anybody out there who needs it, okay? Maji got the tea though, so welcome. Go get your tea, go get your water because I sure has mine. I'm drinking, I think it's hibiscus, yeah, with some chamomile. So maybe that resonates with you. But like I said, God is about to show you who you need to let go in your life, who is being deceitful, who is going to want to stop your shine, um, who's going to want to block this blessing. So it's just like it's time for everyone to be removed and it's time for you to know who's the real one, 
Who are the real ones? Who really wants to see you shine and doesn't mind you shining the brightest, right? Who really needs to walk beside you in this unique journey? Because I'm hearing you're, you're in a very unique journey right now. But before this blessing comes, certain people need to be removed. Comment below. I am ready to release whatever doesn't serve me. I let go of what no longer serves me. Because I'm hearing this is something big. You're the heir of this. And I'm getting royalty. Oh, yeah, guys. And I'm wearing a crown. Thank you, spirit. Like, guys, honestly, to those of you that watch, like, all my readings, like, when was the last time you saw me wear a crown like this? Like, it's been a little while. Let's be honest. It's been a little while. Seer Washington. Thank you so much. They said, I love your new song. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I did release a new song called Deep Emotions. If you guys are interested um, in hearing my music, the link is in the description box of this video or any video. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe that song too if it's resonating. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about that song. But yes, I'm wearing a crown significantly, right? And I wasn't planning on it, but God does. God was planning it. Look at that crown. So like I said, you're royalty. Come on below. I'm royalty. I am anointed. I am crowned. You're crowned with something that is yours. You inherited this thing and it's coming to you. Nobody can take it, but God is making sure that he's letting you see it now. It's like God is not just blindly removing people out of your life. And you're like, why is such and so leaving? Why do I know? It's like they, God wants you to see the universe, your ancestors. They want you to see with your very own eyes what really needs to be left because there is a thief this card has been coming out not this particular deck but i keep hearing about a thief okay and if you guys haven't watched my earlier upload i did upload a reading today so that's two videos today guys y'all better feel appreciated i'm dropping two videos for y'all because i'm obedient i gotta spill the tea but yeah see that spilling the tea look at the cups right there it's like somebody's trying to spill the tea on you they've been stealing something right I did release a video earlier this morning about how there is literally your entire family who are working with secret societies and who are secretly working with the devil, demonic entities, right? And how they're being possessed by these dark entities to go against this chosen one. So if that happens to resonate, if you feel some negative energy and you need clarity and you can't afford a private reading, go check that reading, okay? It's, it was uploaded today as you're watching this reading. So yeah. Somebody's trying to seize the moment. They're waiting for the right time to steal something from you. And what they want to steal, something that you're about to inherit. They want to steal what's yours. They want to steal your crown. Comment below, you cannot steal my crown. Okay, it's like your crown is untouchable. This could also be trying to steal like your thoughts, your ideas. Yeah, that's why I kept hearing inherit the earth. Because I'm getting something about like just... A lot of evil energy trying to take something that belongs to you. Yeah. There's a Judas in your circle. Somebody's trying to steal the keys to your kingdom. This is all being said symbolically. So take it and apply it to your life how it does. If you hear a bell ring at any point like that, this is a confirmation for you. Again, guys, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So you're the first one to receive and get the notification of any upload or song, music, music videos that I may definitely upload. Because right now I'm on surprise mode. You don't know what's coming. I'm surprised. I'm on surprise mode. So you don't know what I may just upload. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell. But I'm getting like you're going to get a spiritual notification about who to let go and who to build with. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm hearing you need to build with someone. Okay. What do we have here? We have the champion. Okay. So you are the champion. Comment below. I am the champion. Facts. That's who you are. You're here to achieve. You're here to succeed. Who am I talking to? Let me know who I'm talking to. Okay? But they're preying on your downfall. That's what that theft is. That theft, deceptive energy is. They're either trying to take something or seize the moment. I'm hearing they're trying to seize your moment. The moment you, you get the respect. The moment you get this certain position. The moment you get this certain inheritance. Whether it's a spiritual inheritance or a material inheritance right? Or the spiritual gift. Whenever you get it, they're trying to intervene and seize the moment to pray for your downfall and take what's yours, your achievement, your glory, the hard work, sweat, and tears that you guys put. And it's like, bro, you're not going to do that. But they're really trying here. We have the sailor. You could be a Pisces or have like uh, fish tattoos because I see two fishes here. Duality. I heard duality. The sailor. No influences. Wonderlust. 
You're about to step into a season of a lot of um, wonder, okay? Um, as always, guys, I am always going to write down the names of anyone who donates to my channel and I'll send you some love and light, okay? Um, so Soul Awakening, thank you so much for making a donation, my love. Sending you so much love and light. Yeah. So they want to steal what your inheritance. They want to steal this chosen one because, again, you have the crown. These chosen ones inheritance whatever inheritance means to you when you want to apply it correct the sailor there's something coming in you see this reminds me of um the six of cups no the six of swords there's something coming in or the three of wands actually there's new new energy coming in i'm hearing new friends there are also new friends new people yeah you see this water i feel like god's about to flood anybody that doesn't belong in your life. Comment below. God's about to flood who I who no longer serves me. See all this water here? It's giving me like flood. So it's just like they're all being removed. It's a mass pool of people that don't need to be around you. I'm, I'm hearing that there might be like somebody could be trying to steal money. Yeah, spiritual inheritance or some type of money that you have. I'm also getting be careful that somebody might like try to steal your hair or your hair comb if you see like certain things in your in your house missing cuz i'm hearing they're watching you that's what i'm hearing to tell you they're watching you you could be like a parent here i'm hearing you're meant to leave a legacy and the legacy is already written you just need to have more faith but you're already like in this in this momentum you're weaving this fate of legacy comment below i was born to be a legend Thank you so much, Stacy, for your donation. And thank you, Carl, for your donation. Let me see if this is warm enough. Okay, let's see. I'm hearing like the sun is coming out. You're going to see a horizon or something like that. But you're the champion. And that's why between this, there's a thief or a negative energy that you need to let go of. I'm going to use this angel number booklet to randomly see what like number you need to look up, which numerology has a number for you. Maybe you're seeing this number yourself. Okay, we have the number 284. It says, it's inevitable. Welcome acceptance. This is an inevitable outcome to what you're presently dealing with in your life. So it's inevitable that certain people are definitely going to walk out of your life. Like, that's it. God already saw them try to steal something from you. They try to steal your crown. They try to steal your position, your place. They thought they could replace you. They wanted to steal your fate, your destiny. Your angels call on to you to welcome it with acceptance. So your angels are saying, welcome this change. Accept this change. Comment below. I accept this change. I am ready for this change. Aren't you fed up of the people draining you, of, of you receiving blessings, but then suddenly there's another blockage? Or you're having a great week, but then shit go bad because you let in some negative energy around you? This is like actual peace that's trying to be given to you, gifted to you. But first, you need to eliminate these individuals out of your frequency. So you're being guided to repeat the mantra, I feel peace. I feel peace because that's what you're inviting. Peace, love, and light. You understand? Thank you, Jesus Delgado, for your donation, my love. So give this video a thumbs up, guys, if it's already resonating with you. Now, I'm hearing something else here. Let me see which other. I'm hearing pick another number as well. Winston Diller, thank you so much for your donation as well. I'm hearing Damian Lillard. Maybe somebody here watches like basketball or maybe you're trying to be in the NBA or maybe that's one of your favorite. There we go. I'm sorry about that. Did you guys see that glitch? So that was a weird ass glitch. Some energy was trying to intervene with this message for somebody. I do apologize about that. But definitely the camera froze. That was weird as fuck. That's never happened in any of my lives. So there was a glitch here. 
And I feel like that's resonating with this video, guys, okay? There was a glitch here trying to intervene for me, not delivering this message. Somebody really don't want... Comment below, no weapon from against me or my blessing shall prosper. But like I was saying, you're, you're creating your soul plan. The choices you've made are in line with your soul contract. Excuse me. Feel assured that the path you take presently is leading you to where you want to be. Comment, be comment below. I am exactly where I need to be. Create an intention today that aligns, that aligns with you with your divine plan. Okay? So there we go. There's that. That was a crazy glitch, though. I'm not even going to lie. That, that just took me off. But Let's get back to this. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see what you need to let go of, what's going on around you. I'm hearing blocking communication. Somebody's trying to block your communication. That's weird. All right, so look, we have somebody put a spell on you, black magic. And there goes the confirmation with the glitch. So definitely... That death energy could have been like them doing magic to steal something, take possession of your destiny or something like that. Comment below. My destiny is protected. Your first initial could be I or theirs. Thank you so much, Ryan. Facts. Let me know who's reading this is because this is some like there's a lot of, of like something major and beautiful is happening. But I do sense like why spirit is trying to warn you about this someone who's selfish this person is pure selfish could be a narcissist this person is like they're trying to get your position of being a champion they want to get praised they want to get coronated they want to be you know royal but it's like you can't you can't steal my crown or my position capricorn energy in the house shout out to my cappies Someone is attacking your finances so you don't succeed. There goes again the inheritance, okay? Somebody is doing spell work on your money. Comment below. I break any spell that is that has been placed on my wealth. I break any spell that has been placed on my money, okay? Sacral chakra. Somebody's trying to block your creativity. But what I'm hearing is that there's an inheritance. Again, a spiritual inheritance or some type of inheritance here. And they don't want you to get this money. They're attacking this money. The letter F could be significant. I heard fame and I also heard Frank. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay. You are an ancient goddess. So if you watching, you need to understand you are an ancient goddess. That's where this crown is coming from. It's from a past life. You come from a royalty and you have like unseen potential about yourself that you haven't even tapped into and you have no idea about. That's what I'm picking up, guys. Somebody here is a true goddess. Comment below. I am a goddess. If you're feeling that word. Firebird. Thank you so much for your donation. And uh, Winston, he says... I'm Jersey. I'm Jesus Christ, Maji. I would like a reading. I live in Jersey. I see you on 44. Facts. Go to my website, majesty.com, to book a reading. Um, we have the letter M. Initials M, F, or F, M. Maybe somebody like works in a radio or owns a radio station, or maybe you're starting a podcast. Maybe you're driving or switching which FM to listen to. There's something like that, okay? Ancient Egypt, you were Isis. Okay, so definitely we're picking up on goddess and Isis. Let me know who you are. You could actually be the reincarnation of Isis. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but, you know, when I deliver these messages, I literally know that that's what I'm channeling because it's coming up. So be around water. And then we have Messiah. Enchanted star, thank you so much for your donation. I was enchanted to me, you. Somebody could like Taylor Swift or be listening to Taylor Swift. Okay. So let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, somebody here is like trying to tap into your psychic power. Let's see what's going on. I was enchanted to me, you. the initial m m okay then we have earth energy here let's see what these cards mean 
water. So we have two elements of earth and water. Again, earth is material wealth. Water definitely could be your psychic powers. And look at the cauldron. Somebody here is doing some magic, yo. There, there could be a witch, warlock here. Create. It's something that you're about to create, or you could be an artist. It's something that you're creating. You could be like a smoker or somebody is like wants you again to smoke or you to have something wrong with your lungs and your breathing. So make sure you guys are meditating, connecting with nature. Um, I'm hearing use lavender essential oil or mint to help you with your breath work if need be. I also heard somebody needs to eat oranges and it says nourish. So definitely nourish yourself. Get some pomegranate, yo. Somebody here needs to... Maybe something's like up with your blood. You need to eat more red, like beets, pomegranates, tomatoes, strawberries, blueberries. Definitely eat walnuts. Eat, have a clean diet. Mushrooms, grapes. Okay, high vibrational food. But look at that, the chalice. This is reminding me of the Holy Grail. I'm hearing your body is the Holy Grail. Comment below. Okay, yes. You're creating something that's going to bring you abundance because all this also reminds me of cornucopia abundance. Pomegranate reminds me of the high priestess. So you definitely have some type of channeling ability here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys are nourishing your mind, body, and soul. Definitely eat clean or eat more fruits to your diet. That's definitely coming through. And maybe some beets or potatoes. But you're creating. You could be a musician, an artist, a painter. You're about to give birth to this. Or maybe you already have, but you're a creator. You're very creative. And maybe that's that's where you don't know how much of that unseen potential you haven't tapped into. Make sure you guys get like your protection charms, evil eye charms, definitely. Because somebody's doing altar work, my love. Somebody has your picture on an altar. Because they want to take, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Also, your ancestors want you to prepare an altar for them if you haven't. Maybe they want some incense. Maybe they need you to add. Make sure you have all four elements on the altar, okay? I'm hearing somebody that passed away wants you to have an altar for them and hold them in, 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 in their memory, light a candle for them, okay? Add some coins. But I did hear somebody put your picture in an altar. Comment below, I am protected. No weapon from against me shall prosper. No weapon. But yes, my love, I did hear that for sure. This is a hater to the max. They put your picture on the altar. Like, bro, what's up with you? That's how you know you're chosen. See, you're coming into alignment. Your chakras and you are coming into alignment. Comment below. I'm coming into alignment with my destiny. Yes. 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 Some of you could be having like bones issue or bone pain or heart issues. That's due to spell work. Look at the heart right there. As soon as I say heart. Maybe a lot of heartburn than usual. Okay, I'm hearing Christ consciousness. Somebody put also your name in, inside a bottle? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but whatever they're doing, leave it to God. Leave it to, to my at, leave it to the universe to balance. You know, and freaking balance. You ain't got to do shit. Okay? Be silent and let God do the work. Just do you. <laughs> Comment below. God hire me. Who gonna fire me though? Period. So we're gonna find out very soon. Who is it that you need to let go of? Okay, let's see. Because like a champion is here. Like I've said, like you, you really... You're really about to accomplish something. Make a major achievement in one way or the other. That is going to leave a legacy. I'm telling you, for someone, you could be becoming a household name or something. Yeah. All right. If this message is resonating, guys, definitely let me know. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be a male ancestor that's trying to communicate with you or tell you to hold them in, 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 in their memory, in your memory. Okay. Yeah. They want to let you know. Okay. So there's an ancestor, a male ancestor who wants to let you know that your enemies are about to receive karma and you're about to receive blessings, your good fortune. That's, that's what this Jupiter energy of the wheel of fortune is. There's going to be a major turnaround, a major 
shift where this is your season of blessings. Affirm it in the comments below if you're feeling this message, okay? This is your season of blessings. 5'10 could be significant. You could be 5'10 in terms of height as well. But this is your destiny. You're about to meet someone by fate, as if by fate, but this is destiny. Yeah, see that six of swords is here again. I was speaking about it. You're relocating or you're moving away. Like I said, God's making sure that you're moving away from your competitors, moving away from haters, moving away from thieves, moving away from just like lower frequency. It's just, no. It just, it just doesn't align with where you're headed. So they're going to fall off naturally. But you're going to see what they were doing behind the scenes. Some of you guys could have roommates. Isis, thank you so much for your donation. Some of you guys could have roommates. They're the ones doing spell work too. We have Cancerian energy with the chariot. July 8th could be significant. I'm seeing you're putting in a lot of work on something that you're very talented in, the Empress energy. You're very abundant right now. Your energy is very abundant. It's like you're not chasing, you're attracting. For some of you guys, you're going to find out that you're pregnant or that the person that you're with is pregnant. Facts. Congratulations. There's a lot of success. I just keep hearing success. You're about to succeed in something really, really big. Venus energy. Like I said, you're also going to start looking more beautiful, more attractive. You're going to feel more balanced when there wasn't balanced. And with the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from what no longer serves you. You're going for your Nine of Cups. Okay, you're going towards your wish fulfillment, what makes you happy. You're ready for this change. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're making smart moves. Comment below, I'm making smart moves. Like intelligent, you're being more perceptive. Yeah, because you know you have some type of money or inheritance coming your way or you feel it. Maybe the, the universe is giving you signs. Oh my God, look, I just opened this one. And look what's on the bottom of the deck, guys. Look, Maji got the T though. Look, success. I'm telling you. Success. Whatever success means to you, I'm not going to define it. You define it. This is just going to give you confirmation of some sort for you. Okay? But it's success. That's it. It's written all over it. You have a legacy here and it's going to succeed. We have study. You've been working really hard gathering information i'm also hearing that your enemies are studying you yeah there's a there's a yeah you're very studious you could be reading a lot of books right now because i see the queen of swords this landed on the queen of swords definitely definitely somebody very very intellectual very observant very detail observant very witty i'm hearing friendship see certain friendships in your life are going to be removed or they're going to stay and some new ones are coming in ones that are in alignment with you comment below i release whatever isn't in alignment with the new me because it's a new you oh my god guys look 14 and four that's one four four so definitely you could be seeing that number that definitely means you're chosen and you definitely need to buy my chosen ones oracle deck <laughs> knowledge knowledge read a lot more you're gaining knowledge spiritual knowledge you're getting insight you're learning about life it's not just books it's not like you're just studying maybe you guys are going back to school you're studying something i'm hearing yes you're going to get your degree if you've been studying for to get an application yes you're going to get accepted i'm hearing you're just use your imagination you have the potential to manifest anything but what i'm also picking up is that the knowledge that you're obtaining, the knowledge that you're getting and the insights, they're about your friends. You're learning what friendship is, what true friendship is. You're learning who your friends really are and who you need to let go of. You're studying people's moves. You're becoming more observant. And I feel like there's certain books that you're going to run into. Like The Alchemist, I'm seeing The Alchemist. OK, you, there's certain books that you're definitely going to be reading that are going to give you that knowledge that you're seeking, especially regarding ancestral work. There's a book that they're going to lead you to. I'm also hearing there's a book that's going to grant you your wish or help you learn how to manifest this wish. Beauty on the bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, somebody here is beautiful 
and you're glowing to be more beautiful. Comment below. God is making me more beautiful. Like you're already pretty. You're already beautiful. God is just making you more beautiful. Nature boy, thank you so much for your donation. And CSC, thank you so much. Wait, what did uh, he say? Love you, Maji. Hope you got the spring tarot deck. Oh, yeah, you sent me a tarot deck? Okay, guys, I haven't checked my P.O. box in, like, 20 days. So I am going to check it tomorrow, and I'll go live and, like, show you guys the gifts that you've sent me for sure. So thank you so much for sending me that deck. I am excited to use it for this channel. Absolutely. I'll definitely give you a shout out, bro. Look, beauty, okay? Like you're glowing, you're becoming more beautiful. I'm also hearing letting go of certain people is going to make you more beautiful. I'm hearing the people that have been around you have like not made you ugly, right? But they have dimmed your light that people aren't really like there to see your true shine or your true essence. But the more that they're being released from your aura field, from your energetic field and from your physical, you know, distance here, you're going to shine more. Comment below. I'm about to shine more and you're glowing. Strength. You're becoming stronger because I'm hearing certain friendships were making you weak and were keeping you blocked creatively. However, my darling, whoever this message is for, you about to get like some crazy divine messages. Your energy is different right now. Your energy is going to feel completely different. You're not only going to feel more energized, you're going to feel like every moment of your life, you're like uh, inspired and you're just creating just a lot. And I see you working a lot too, not just at work, but in yourself, new projects with this empress here. You could be starting a new project, maybe something that you worked in nine months, but I am seeing a pregnancy for someone here too. Creativity. Yeah, you're about to give birth to something that you're doing creatively here. And I'm a little nosy. Can you guys let me know what that is in the comments below? I like to know what you're doing because I'm hearing you have divine creativity. Like it's God who gives you the shine, the downloads, the inspiration to do some crazy painting like um, Van Gogh. You know what I mean? Galactic Rose. Thank you so much for your donation. But yeah, there's like a divine inspiration, creative flow season for you. Let's see what essential oil you need to utilize or what herbs you need to work with right now to protect yourself, to manifest, for healing, just anything like that. I'm hearing lemon. Yes, lemon is actually very powerful to cut away negative energies. So I am seeing that you definitely should use the power of lemon. Definitely look up some YouTube videos. They have tons of those videos. Thank you, Isis, for your donation. If you guys like to know more about that, I could definitely do some of these videos on Patreon, actually. I'll probably start doing that. But this says, you got the lemon. I'm about to listen to the lemon, okay? You could be wearing yellow right now. That's your confirmation. The time for cleansing and clarity has come, okay? Only an enlightened and attentive mind can see through the mist and lift the veil. What I told you? I literally said, God's lifting the veil. You're about to see things clearly. To recognize the truth of light of creation. Always follow the path of joy and happiness. And I feel like you've been doing that and you're headed there. The spirit of lemon is eager to guide you through the realm of shadows. Where it will kindle light in the rooms of your mind. So in your mind, let's say you've been having a lot of dark thoughts. It's been blocking your creativity. It's been blocking your flow, your blessings, your happiness. You're going to literally suddenly fear a beam of light in your mind, providing you not just clarity. Lawanda Golden, thank you so much, my love, for your generous donation. Guys, if you feel like donating to Cash App, definitely. Thank you so much. Um, but it will guide you towards eternal truth, saying yes to life and sacred affirmation to yourself. So like I said, your mind is going to be illuminated in various ways, but there's no longer going to be like darkness haunting you, guilt haunting you. Everything is becoming illuminated, which means what? Your thoughts are going to be automatically more positive. Okay. And I know this may not sound like it's you right now, but I'm hearing that the, you're going to, you're going to get the message. Somebody actually have a lemon tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely buy a bowl of lemons and put it in your kitchen or living room i'm also hearing two 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 likes that could be a confirmation for you wow bro sis where you at you actually got the card of palo santo it's right there you guys see it palo santo what did i use before starting this reading so spirit is like burn some more i'm gonna burn some more then 
You need some of this. Get this stick, this holy wood, Palo Santo, okay? This is enough to cleanse, to purify. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is a crazy accurate reading for someone here. Let me know who's reading this is. Thank you, CSC, for your donation, my love. You hear that again? Fire is an element of release. So burn something. Use the element of burning to release, okay? There we go. We got to release something. There's a lot of negative energy up in this. There's some hoes in this house. <laughs> so yeah, Palo Santo right here. Go get some. Go get some. You are challenged to enter Motivate uh, pro I. Thank you so much for your donation. You are challenged to enter other dimensions. Nothing can hold you back or keep you away from the one thing for which your soul yearns. Somebody here is yearning for wholeness, for peace, for restoration. Nothing can stop you. Okay, Stacy, thank you so much for your donation, my love. Okay, you need to listen to this, my love. Integrate this in your heart, in your mind, in your body, if this feels like this message is for you, because it's very profound, okay? There's nothing here that can keep you away from you entering other dimensions, you discovering who you are, you tapping into your abilities, you yearning for what the soul is desiring in whatever way is creatively yearning to be expressed. But I can most definitely tell you that your soul is yearning to be expressed. So try to add a new hobby. Try to find a new way to create right? If you don't paint, try painting, give it a try. Cause you might actually have like a hidden potential you never tapped into. This says, follow the Palo Santo through the glowing hot flames of the sun trial by fire to receive growth, spiritual insight and wisdom from the deepest and highest planes of existence. Okay. Be ready to face the greater whole. See, there it goes. And then we have ginger. So if somebody's having like insecurity issues, solar plexus issues, a lot of stomach aches, gastritis, energy, um, you know, maybe you're having difficulty going to the bathroom, stomach pain of anything, go and get yourself some ginger. It's a great antioxidant, okay? And uh, it helps reduce inflammation. So how do your stomach and abdominal region feel right now? Somebody is experiencing some um, stomach aches. Can you let me know who you are? Um... Light and easy or heavy or bloated. You could be feeling bloated right now, overactive, grumbling stomach. An eternal flame is burning within you that keeps you alive and provides energy and vitality. The healing soul of the ginger plant, like a wise old grandmother, wants to rekindle your fire with its own flame. The place where it burns is also the seat of the emotions, anxieties, and sorrows that spring up almost too soon for the fire to be out. There's an ancestor coming through, a grandmother. Yeah. She's saying definitely drink some ginger tea. Take that, take in that ginger. Because you have an eternal flame in you. Thank you, Raphael, for your donation. I'm being pulled to do one more of this one. We have myrrh, okay? So we have Palo Santo and myrrh. There's a lot that you need to burn, and I'm hearing another one is myrrh. It says, why am I here? Who am I? What am I really? You need to start questioning. You need to start awakening. Ask yourself, who are you? Why are you here? What has God hired you to do? If you guys look up to the right of the screen, I don't know where you're seeing it, but right there, it says 144, okay? Okay? Remember you're chosen. Remember this is you. You're one of the 144 light workers. There's no doubt about that. So you need to buy right now. I saw somebody buying this Oracle deck. I see you buying this Oracle deck for yourself. One card a day keeps the demons away. Okay. Definitely for your higher self. You need that guidance. Do not be afraid of who you are. It's what you're, they're telling me to tell you. You're like a martyr. You might've suffered a lot to, to definitely stop other people from suffering the thing that reveals themselves in such moments want to be acknowledged and embraced. Just a loving mother holds her child and gives everything that it was so early to need right now. 
you will find the answers they seek only through stillness, okay? So right now, something's trying to flow through you. Try forgiving yourself. Try working with Mert to release this thing. You can also apply one drop of that oil to your root chakra. Remember I said earlier, if you feel some tingling or you feel like you need to protect your crown chakra, apply a little bit of myrrh essential oil, just a little bit, with intention on your crown chakra, my love. And orange. I told you somebody needs to eat oranges, yo. Y'all already know I got the tea. Y'all be hearing shit. <laughs> I'm not just clairvoyant. I'm clairaudient. I got all the clairs. Uh, maybe you do too. But see that orange? Okay, sacral chakra. Eat a lot of oranges. There, That means like you're about to step into happiness, my love. Put some oranges in your drinks and stuff. Um, it helps you become aware. It gives you more vitality. It makes you more happy, more abundant. I'm hearing hard times are over. Comment below. The hard times are over. Yeah, somebody here could be working with oregano. But I'll be using that one for next time. This is a really cool deck. I love this deck. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So let's see what's being released. Thank you, CSC, for your donation. <laughs> so we have Return to Sender. Something's about to be Return to Sender. And like Spirit says, it's a thousand times more. They're about to feel it a thousand times more. That pain, that anguish, that negative energy that they send you, they're about to feel it a thousand times more. Yes, because somebody's sending you negative energy and psychic attacks to provoke your spirit. Any curse you might have felt like you had, Spirit says, thank you, Craig, for your donation. Spirit is saying uh, curses have been lifted. So if you felt goosebumps, you feel like this is your message. If you want to claim that beautiful thing into your life, comment below. Curses have been lifted. All curses have been lifted. You're curse free. Okay? Look at that crown again, my love. Look at that crown. It's like... It's, it's, it's just how it is. Somebody's working magic to take of what, yeah, somebody wants to take what belongs to you. They want to take your crown. They want to take your position. They want to take what's yours. Maybe somebody actually does want to be Miss Universe here or something, but that's crazy. Like they want it all for themselves. Something that clearly belongs to you. They want it all for themselves. That's what I'm hearing right now. I want it all for me. This could be a sibling. See? Go check out that reading I did about family members. If you felt that message, if you questioning, if you feel, because like I said, you need to start asking who you are and why are you being so attacked? Start asking these questions. It's because you're anointed. It's, be it's because you're highly favored. Okay. It's because you carry the image of God. Comment below. I, I, I have God's image. And when you have God's image, you know, the enemies are going to hate you. The devil's going to hate you, right? I'm getting like, when the devil looks at you, it, it, he's reminded of God and he hates that shit. So that's crazy. I just heard that. A sibling that ass doesn't like you. They want to take something that's yours. There's a sibling rivalry going on. Brother, sister, you let me know. You'll feel it if you have siblings, you know, you'll put it there. But you are protected. You look at the crown again. Comment below. My crown is protected. My, my treasure is protected. My kingdom is protected. My throne is protected. Whatever this crown means to you, right? It's protected, divinely protected. Because I am seeing like you went through a coronation, you got some spiritual respect, and now they want to take away this spiritual respect. R-E-S-P-C-T. Find out what it means to me. R-E-S-P-C-T. What? They want to take that away from you, bro? Uh-uh-uh. You have a higher calling. Comment below. I ain't got time for this. I got a higher calling. You have babies to give birth to, idea projects, money ideas to give birth to. Like, I'm hearing your heart to conquer. So now they're feeling that they're about to get karma. They thought, like, they could defeat you. Now they're about to see, like, damn, this person actually is untouchable. Like, I may actually believe that they are anointed. Maybe they doubt it. Maybe they doubt it. But I don't really see that. Yeah, see, you have a psychic firewall that's protecting you. You have angels that are like your security guard protecting you. Like, touch not my anointing. Especially you have like, like nature spirits, birds and fairies protecting you as well. Somebody that has been doing spell work on you is this person who has been seeking revenge. Somebody feels like you wronged them and they want to get revenge. Who is that in your life? Start thinking about it. Yeah, they're, they're using remote viewing to spy on you. 
they're literally like astral projecting to get insight information yeah they want they want to like impair your vision let's say you're psychic here and highly intuitive they're trying to block your third eye comment below you cannot block my third eye they're trying to take away your sight your spiritual sight comment below you cannot take away my spiritual sight god gave you that spiritual sight that position for you to be a high priestess high priest okay that medium like no they can't take that shit no no they could try doing that on anybody else, but just not you. I'm telling you, it's ordained for you to have that. You're, yo, this veil, once it's removed, this going to shock you. Because somebody was trying to make you gain weight or make you lose weight, be really, really skinny or just really, really chubby, you know, whatever it is. They wanted to cost something. Yeah, reversal complete. Guys, look, it went back to sender. Comment below. Uh, the, it went back to sender. Mimi, thank you so much for your donation, my love. All right, let me see what other oracles I'm being guided to use here. Somebody is about to get a lawsuit as part of their karma. They might be dealing with a lawsuit already. They're, the enemy feels like they're losing control. They know that they lost control over you. They're dealing with chaotic energy in their life. So they're feeling quite like frantic, paranoid that you might find out who they are already. Yeah, I feel like this person is losing control and they're just afraid of being exposed perjury yeah somebody has lied on their earth uh, on their oath they're trying to cover something up something up with the law they feel like they're above the law they got this god complex where they feel superior to the law or to you they're somebody very controlling i keep hearing controlling narcissistic controlling scorpio energy vacation okay so definitely like i said god is about to you know, um, take you on a vacation. Make sure that you get your rest. Make sure that you go on that trip. Make sure that you get peace, that you get that time alone or that you go on some sort of break from all this chaos. You might be going somewhere hot. Look, divine feminine energy, divine masculine. Comment below, I am a divine feminine or I am a divine masculine watching. That's what you need to know. You're divine. You're not a regular degala. You are divine, okay? Yeah, it goes back to family drama, guys. This card keeps coming up. Make sure you guys are checking that reading out. For some of you, it's your ex. You need to let go of that ex. Your ex is still freaking pathetically watching you, invested in you, and not even in a good way. Do not take back this ex. Oh, my God. Somebody's name could have been Lex, and it rhymes with X. Or maybe this person's name rhymes with X. But it's like, let go of that ex. Come and go, come and below. I'm ready to release this ex. Uh-uh. This person is trying to follow you. They might have like your iPhone pinned or location on if they had access to that in the past. So do something about that. Somebody just can't take their eyes off you. They're, they're toxic. No. This is the person that needs to leave in order for this blessing to enter. They're rallying up the troops. They know your blessing's coming, so they're they're rallying up the troops. Somebody here could be Muslim. Yeah, exactly, Alex. Out with the old, in with the new. I'm hearing something is on. Make sure you don't leave anything on. Somebody's trying to cause like a fire in your home. Make sure you do not leave anything on. A special event is coming. Mentor. You could be having a new mentor. Maybe some of you guys are about to get a therapist. Hidden cameras. Yeah, go check out that reading, guys. Because I was speaking about hidden cameras in that family member video. Of them being secret agents of Satan. Thank you, AJ, for your donation, my love. Send you guys so much love and light. Thank you, everybody watching right now. Thank you, everybody who has liked this video, shared this video, commented on this video. You guys are amazing, okay? Like, love you guys, honestly. So, yeah, there's hidden cameras, bro. There's hidden cameras. You got a lot of eyes on you, especially cops. I'm hearing cops or somebody that works for, like, works for the police. Oh, 
Oh my God, there we go, my love. There's nothing to worry about. You have heavenly protection. Comment below, I have heavenly protection, okay? Heavenly protection. God himself put a crown on you. Who is gonna take it? Who's gonna take it? It got that Maji touch. Comment below, my crown got that Maji touch. Like, nah, it's anointed. It's been blessed by the gods. So yeah, you're heavenly protected. This ha this hidden cameras, you might literally find it and find out who it is. Spirit is trust is asking right now that you do not trust this person or speak to a certain someone, whether this is your ex or whether this is a family member, coworker, you will know. You will know. You could pray about it. Do not trust this person. Yeah, you're being warned. My love, you're being warned. You're being warned. Something about a car, maybe the camera is inside a car. Or do not get in the car with this person. I'm hearing somebody's about to get a new car. They try to curse your home here. Call a case. I'm telling you, somebody here, call a case. They're dealing with the law. Your ancestors are saying, I'm protecting you. I'm protecting you. Yeah, you need to break up with somebody. You need to break up with somebody. ASAP. Okay? Maybe you might feel like there's a sexual connection with this person, but you need to break it off. Deals with the devil. This person is dealing with the devil. Like I said, you got secret devils around you. You may not even know who they are. Comment below. God, show me who are these secret devils. You need to become aware, my love. You need to find out who you are and why you're somebody that's always attacked. God wants to show you your true hidden power. God wants to show you your anointing, the crown that you have, the inheritance that is yours, that is coming. You don't know how big. You don't know what it is. You have no idea. You just have to trust your intuition and allow God to do the job of letting people go. Let the universe do that shit. Okay, because somebody here definitely signed some contract with the devil for fame, for fortune, for clout. I, they, I'm hearing they were initiated. Yeah, witches, warlocks are campaigning against you. I'm telling you. Comment below. I'm, I am curse free. Remember anytime anybody tries to tell you? Yeah, because you need to let go of some scorned lover. For some of you guys, really, you need to let go of this friend, this lover. They want revenge. They're they just trying to bring drama to your house, to your home. They're trying to, yo, somebody's trying to do something to your car so you get an accident. So make sure you guys are saging your car with Palo Santo. Sage your car. Put a rosary, evil eye, whatever, into, according to your religion, is a good luck charm of protection. Do something. Be careful because they're trying to cause some damage or something to your car or you inside of the car i know this sounds like ominous and dark but that's just how petty this person is you don't know who i'm talking about but it could be a scorned lover or a friend here okay they might also want to frame you drug dealings i'm seeing some drugs being dealing here yeah i keep seeing child protective services too forge documents be careful of somebody forging a, a document here, a check, a contract. Did they take something already from the collective? See, a karmic friend is coming against you. For some of you, it's not a lover. For some of you, it's a friend. For some of you, it's both. You need to let go of a lot of people. Okay? You need to let go of a karmic friend that's going against you like petty. Pisces energy. Okay? Okay? Behind the scenes, yes, there are people doing spell work on you. And I am hearing sex spells too, Satanists. See, I'm telling you, go check out that reading, my love. And go share that reading with somebody that needs it. I'm feeling it in my spirit like I need to repeat myself over and over. I was saying in that last reading, your family members are working for Satan, okay? And demons, whatever you want to call it. Some of you guys don't believe in Satan. It don't matter. You want to call it negative energy. You want to call it entities, whatever you want to call it. But that dark energy, they're working with this energy. They're being manipulated by this energy. Okay, yeah, for someone here, I'm getting they're trying to get you deported if you are an illegal immigrant or if you're trying to work on your visa or something. I'm hearing they're trying to get you deported. Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of evil actions and I'm getting something about a car. I keep seeing a car. So protect your car. Protect your car. Call it enemies, whatever you want to call it, honey. 
You put it in, in, in whatever it is. Put it in whatever it means to you. God hire me. Who going to fire me? Like, nobody. I'm telling you, you're the heir. You're the next heir for this. This was a gift or a talent, a creative talent, psychic talent, whatever, that was passed down to your ancestors that comes from a past life. And it's like, now you've inherited. You've inherited this. You're the next, you're the next one to, to get the throne. Just like how royalty works. You're the next in line. Comment below. I'm the next in line. Yes. You're the next in line to get this coronation, to get this crown, to get this high status. Not them. Where did I put that dick, man? All right. Let's see what else wants to come through here. You next in line. I'm here and get ready to experience things you've never experienced before. Places you've never been before. Congratulations. Like that's look conflict. They're petty. They're competing with you. It could be somebody of the same sex. It could be somebody 30 years old. They're trying to like literally just cause quarrels, dispute drama in your life to lower your frequency so that you don't bring in this blessing or to delay it. Third wheel. Third wheel. Somebody's trying to cause uh, conflict in your marriage or in your relationship or in your friendships. Yeah. They're trying to make you like either cheat or break a promise. I'm hearing the enemy. There's an enemy here. It's three people or they're trying to come in between your relationship or friendships. This could be um, a romantic relationship. This could be a friendship. This could be family. Take it how it resonates for you. But I do see them fighting. Fighting to, like I said, it could let us be an ex. But anyways. I'm hearing you need to do some gardening here to tap into your creativity. There's something that that you're an original at. I'm hearing you're just an original. This was like innately born within you. You're an original. Illness, okay? These people are trying to get you sick, but that's going to be their karma. They're going to get sick. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hearing all this conflict is making you sick. So you need to cut these people out. Bully. See, they're spiritually bullying you. They're spiritually bullying you. Excuse me. Gossiping about you. Mm -mm. Some of you guys are going to find out you're pregnant. Congratulations. I'm telling you, that was somebody's confirmation. Yeah, you got a baby. Have a baby by me, baby. Be a millionaire. Be a millionaire. Be a millionaire. Have a baby by me, baby. Yeah, somebody's watching. Somebody listening to 50 Cent or something. But, um, yeah. Or you're going to give birth to something pure. I'm hearing you're a pure soul. Or maybe you are pregnant. Or maybe you're having morning sickness. That's because you're pregnant. If you've been feeling weak, it's because of all this spiritual bullying. There's somebody becoming in like a wedge in your life. Eternal love. Whoever you are with right now, this is your eternal love. If you are single, you're manifesting your eternal love. Somebody you're going to grow old with. A soulmate who still thinks about you and you have a fond memory of them. Real estate. Somebody here works in real estate. Or oh, I see you signing a contract for a new home, as I was mentioning in the last reading for sure. Somebody here is a life coach, a gym coach, a sp some type of sports coach, a math coach, something. You have some type of knowledge. Let me know if you're a teacher. Where my teacher's at, though? Let me know if this message resonated. Comment below. Magic got the tea, though. <laughs> Commitment. Yeah. I see a contract. I'm getting a contract. You're going to get a contract. Maybe you're for like at least a home or maybe a real estate, something like that. Some type of investment that you made. He said, I am a life coach and Oracle. Whoa, Jasmine, you mad cool. I like to give a little bit of life coach here on my channel as I, as I channel, right? You guys pick up on that. You need to relax. Let go and let God. Comment below. I let go and I let God. There's nothing to stress. Just continue studying, learning, getting knowledge in whatever way you are. And just literally no peace is coming to you. Tranquility. You're going to not like, I feel like somebody here is breaking free from like, oh, I need to, I need to be, do this by this hour. I have to have a certain schedule. You're going to have some type of freedom. Let me see what the Oracle deck for the Chosen Ones 144 has to say. This is my very own Oracle deck, guys. You can purchase it on my website, majesty.com. The link is also on the description box. 
All right, this is a dope ass deck, one of a kind deck that is gonna help activate and reawaken who you are. Because I do see your ancestors are saying, do you know who you are? You need to start asking these questions and this is gonna guide you. Psychic attacks, because there you go. You're under psychic attacks. You are. Because whatever is coming is big. The bigger the blessing, the more the attacks. You feel me? So just know that whatever you're going through is because my goodness is so beautiful. It's what's always been way. It's what you've always waited for, consciously or subconsciously. <clears throat> Jesus descendant. Comment below. I am a Jesus descendant. Yeah. Like I said, you come from royal blood. You are the heir to something here. No, that's the theft card. You are the heir to something here. You come from a bloodline of kings. Comment that down below. I come from the bloodline of kings. I come from the bloodline of Jesus. Whatever your religion is, whatever you want to believe, definitely I'm seeing that. That's why you're being attacked because you come from the bloodline of Jesus. You're being attacked because of the blood you carry. The psychic abilities that you have come from Jesus, Christ consciousness. Also, I'm hearing Christ consciousness. You're activating your Christ consciousness. Yes, yeah, sir. Do not worry, though. Everything is handled. The angels got it. And then we have spell work. Just to confirm, yes, they're doing spell work on you. But like I said, you're curse-free no matter what they're doing. But yes, they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. I'm hearing stealing. They've been stealing. They could have been stealing your energy for God knows who. They could have been st stealing an inheritance for God knows what. But let's see what they're stealing. Let me see. What they're stealing? What they're stealing? They're, they literally need to steal it with spell work because I'm hearing don't worry about their spells. Don't worry about what they're doing with their, with their magic. You're collaborating with another light worker or you're about to collaborate with another light worker. The shepherd. Okay, the shepherd. Celebration family. Like I said, this could be family members, right? But like I said, this is your season of celebration. Comment below. This is my time of celebration. My season of celebration. You definitely like feel like you're like the black sheep or something. You're about to step into new projects. I'm seeing like the universe anoint you for some type of position here. What is that? Somebody named Lex or with the initials L-E-X is going to want to confront you. I'm hearing confrontation. Somebody's very confrontational. They just want to confront you. Could be a family member. I'm seeing somebody look through a album of photos. Okay. I'm seeing you do that. Going through memory lane. Finding something about your childhood, about an ancestor. Finding about your roots. Maybe you're doing Ancestry.com. Who knows? Yeah, because they're trying to challenge you. You're going through challenges right now. That's why you're being attacked. And I see like it's becoming frustrated, frustrating and very challenging. But it's making you smarter. Full moon. Something's coming into full manifestation here. It's a blessing. It's a celebration. It's something that's yours. And yes, it's coming as soon as you let go of the past, even energetically. Even if you're like, Maji, I'm in total isolation right now. I don't need to let go of anybody. You don't know energetically what still could be binding you or attached to you. And I see that when the next full moon comes, I see it completely being removed. So I'm hearing in the next full moon from you that you watch this, you're going to be receiving that blessing. Comment below. I am ready to receive this blessing. I welcome this blessing or for some of you i'm hearing blessings and i saw the number two so it could be two or more blessings definitely we're still in that mercury retrograde so you know communication could be a little uh -uh, but somebody here is really good at writing or maybe you're like a news reporter pisces energy somebody's gonna start receiving i'm channeling someone here who has like prophetic dreams or you're gonna start to get more vivid dreams mystical yeah you're mystical you're intuitive ninth house i see you traveling i'm telling you you about to take a trip coming below i'm about to take a trip i'm about to go on vacation you're very spiritual you're like literally uh 
You could also be getting approved for a visa also if you've been waiting on that. But I just see you traveling to foreign places that you've never been to, doing humanitarian work even. Congratulations. I love that for you. Fourth house, connect to your family uh, roots here. Definitely do more self-care, clean your house, decorate your house, add some new plants to your house. I'm hearing Aries energy. Baby, you're on fire. Look at that car again. Somebody's about to buy like a Lamborghini or a new bike. Something really, really hot here. Fierce. You got this fierce look of determination while at the same time having this innocence about you. People are like, whoa, this person could really switch it up. Sometimes you like to dress like, uh, you know, like maybe like the Victorian times or um the roaring 20s i don't know why i'm getting like since you had a past life like you just like to dress differently here and there you're a warrior and there's just a lot of compet competition around you because you, you you're drive right now you're driven leo energy you're on fire you're very good at expressing yourself too Definitely, I see your social media growing. There's a lot more eyes on you in terms of social media or around your neighborhood or your work. I definitely see more creativity. I see romance. Yeah, I'm hearing once in a lifetime opportunity. I have been tapping on that energy, guys. I don't know who's been watching my readings, but you're about to receive a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like people are just going to be like, you're so lucky. And then you're going to be like, and no, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So there's that. I speak only truth. Yeah, you're an alchemist here. Somebody needs to read the book, The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Or maybe that's confirmation. You just finished reading that. When you touch me, your body shivers. I'm seeing somebody dealing with the court. All right, let me use this deck for last. Cause I'm seeing it and I, I'm hearing like, I'm going to channel some interesting things from this. Let's see. Facts. What's up, Sean Davis? He said, need some new music, Maji. You better go check that song, Deep Emotions. I just released a song like three days ago. Give me a little break. I'm about to release some new things. First, I got to, you know, I got to get in the groove. The link is in the description box, guys, if you want to hear my new song called Deep Emotions. It is very short, but it is 1 minute and 44 seconds long by divine timing. Joe, okay, somebody's name could be Joy. Look, you're brave. I'm hearing you're the brave one. You could be seeing ghosts. Maybe your psychic mediumship abilities are about to awaken. I definitely see babies, fertility with rabbit. I see abundance, and whenever I see a rabbit... Also, you, the rabbit could be your spiritual animal or you could be born in the year of the rabbit. Then we have Leslie. Somebody's name here could be Leslie. You could have a black cat. Look at that evil eye right there. Like I said, you're being protected from evil eye in your community. I'm hearing it's people close to you. It's in your community. Look at the cauldron. See? They're spell work. They cooking. The witches are cooking. Someone here is from Jamaica. I'm hearing you need to look at your history, your ancestral history in Jamaica. Your ancestors know how to do like spell work and stuff like that. And you need to go into that, like knowing about your history, knowing about, yeah, specifically maybe from a grandmother. She's trying to, I'm see, I see a, a grandmother ancestors trying to show you how to do spell work, protection spells, you know, how to use the cauldron, things like that. Yeah, or how to even do spell work so that you can bring justice the, your, justice to your favor. Because I see justice here. Like, you might be dealing with a court case or someone is. Things are going to work in your favor. I'm hearing Bora Bora. Somebody could be watching me from there. We have a tree. So, yeah, connect back to your roots. Connect back to your ancestors. They're trying to show you visions. Spend more time on earth. Definitely. That's what I'm picking up, Maji Gang. So I'm going to let this reading here. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me here tonight. Thank you, everybody who donated to join, who liked, share, and subscribe. Make sure you go check out that song, Deep Emotions. Share with your best friend. Share with your crush. Share with your boo. Spread all that love and light, okay? Namaste, guys. Until next time. Peace. <laughs>
バイバイ。